In this programming example, we will make a slot milling inside of our workpiece. From our example part print, you will see that we have a 4 inch long slot that is centered on our workpiece. Our selected tool for this operation is a 1 half inch diameter end mill. From the main menu, press T followed by 2 and press cycle start. The axes should now move to the tool change position. The CNC will dwell and wait for you to finish the tool change. Once done, confirm the tool change is complete and press cycle start. The CNC now updates the active tool on screen and we can continue. From the main menu, press P call key. Using the arrow keys, cursor down and select the slot milling operation. Press enter to continue. X. This is the center coordinate along the X axis. In this case, it is 3. Press Enter to continue. Y is the center coordinate along the Y axis. In this case, it is minus 3. Press Enter to continue. L is the slot length. In this case, it is 4. Press Enter to continue. H is the slot width. In this case, it is 1. Press Enter to continue. The value in this field must be entered in as degrees. A value is entered into this field when machining a part on an inclination angle. In this example, we will be using a value of zero. Press enter to continue. ZS. This is your Z safety distance. This is the amount your tool will be above your starting point before beginning its operation. In this example, we will be using a value of a quarter of an inch. Press enter to continue. Z. This is the starting point of the Z axis. In this example, we will be using a value of zero. Press enter to continue. P is our total depth. In this case, it is 0.5. Press enter to continue. I. This is the depth of cut per pass. In this example, we will be using a value of 0.25, meaning it will only take two passes to get to the final depth. Press enter to continue. FZ. This is the penetrating feed rate on Z axis. This value is entered in inches per minute. In this example, we will be using a value of 10. Press enter to continue. This is your roughing feed rate along the axis. In this example, we are using a value of 15 inches per minute. Press enter to continue. RPM. This is your spindle speed. In this example, we are using a value of 2500 RPM. Press enter to continue. Tool. Enter in your tool number. In this example, you are using tool 2. Press enter to continue. This is your milling step over field. To ensure clean cuts, enter a value less than the diameter of your tool. In this example, we will be using 0.1. Press enter to continue. Using the half key, select the machining direction. In this example, we will use counterclockwise direction. Press enter to continue. Using the half key, select the spindle direction. In this example, we will use clockwise direction. Press enter to continue. This is your feed rate along the axis for our finish operation. In this example, we are using a value of 20 inches per minute. Press enter to continue. This is the amount of material we are removing on the finished pass. In this example, we will be leaving 0.01 for the finished pass. Press enter to continue. N is the number of times it will repeat the finished pass. In this example, we will leave it at zero. Press enter to continue. This is the amount of material we are removing on the Z axis during the finished pass. In this example, we will be leaving 0.01 for the finished pass. Press enter to continue. Let's confirm the cycle in 3D graphics so we can check for errors. Select the graphics icon key, select type of graphics, select 3D graphics. If necessary, press clear screen to remove any unwanted graphics currently on the screen. For safety reasons, turn down the feed rate to zero. Press cycle start. The CNC will now ask you to turn up the feed rate. The CNC will now simulate the cycle. Confirm that the cycle has finished with no errors and you are now ready to save or execute the cycle. Note, if the graphics are too small, press display area and select optimum area. The CNC will then automatically adjust for the best graphic view. To execute the cycle, press escape twice. You now see that there is a cycle start icon at the top of the screen. Turn down the feed rate to zero and press cycle start button to begin executing the cycle. This concludes the slot milling example. Please feel free to rewind, pause, and review any part of this video to improve your knowledge of the 8055i MC CNC control.